Ultra Reality Smash Bros is one of Mr. Beast's most requested projects for him to do. If you don't know what Ultra Reality Smash Bros is, it is essentially a virtual reality world that you can enter physically and transform into one of many Smash Bros characters. Think of it as if SAO became real and it was Smash Bros themed, minus the dystopian aspects of course. Ultra Reality Smash Bros Fighter number 103 is going to be the main character from Excitebike who will be referred to as the Excitebiker. Excitebike is a classic Nintendo game that deserves to be in a Smash game and I believe there is no better Smash game for him than Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros server. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy. Let's start by talking about Excitebiker in his original game before we get into the Smash related stuff. Excitebike was an NES game released for the Famicom in 1984. It was available to play in Japan before the North American launch of the NES. It is a side-scrolling racing game where you have to ride over hills and be the first to finish the race. Some of the tracks in Excitebike are so bumpy that it can mess up your momentum. Not only that, but you may burn out if you accelerate too much. Burning out will leave you at a greater disadvantage than if you manage your speed properly, meaning having a breakaway in this game can actually be a bad thing. Excitebike as a series also has other entries on the Nintendo 64 and Nintendo Wii, the Nintendo 64 entry even having its own track builder. Excitebike also has a track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which just so happens to be one of the most hated tracks in the entire game. Nonetheless, Excitebike is a very well-respected legacy title in Nintendo's library. With that out of the way, let's get into the Smash-related stuff. I have this really wild theory about Ultra Reality Smash Bros that is so crazy, it just might be true. A lot of you will remember a while back I made a video about Irani IO15, known by her fans as Yofi, playing Excitebike. However, what I did not talk about in this video due to timing was that her Excitebike stream ended up being a precursor to something bigger. Shortly after her Excitebike stream, Tokino Sora, the first ever Hololive Idol, scheduled an entire week's worth of streams for the NES Super Mario Bros. trilogy. Leaving it at that would not be a big deal, but after that, Shuba did the same thing, and after that it was Koyori, to the point where basically every member of Hololive JP was streaming 80s Mario games. It begs the question, why? Why is all of Hololive JP all of a sudden interested in playing Mario games released before most idols in Hololive were even born? The answer to this question, my friends, in my own personal theory, lies in Ultra Reality. The entire reason I wanted to add Excitebiker to UR was so I could talk about this in a video. Essentially my theory is Yagu is having his idols play third gen Nintendo games to play on one of Ultra Reality Smash Bros main themes, that being generations crossing paths. From a UR perspective you have a massive roster of characters, a huge percentage of which are from the NES Super Nintendo era. Because of UR technology you can transform into these characters from a bygone era in a virtual reality world, which is a perfect blend of old school and new school. From Whole Live's perspective, however, you have VTubers, which is still a super new concept in the grand scheme of things, uh, even in terms of YouTube, playing games that came out before most of Whole Live was even born. Once again, a perfect blend of old school and new school. I believe Yagu is doing this as a prelude of sorts, preparing the Whole Live fan base for the ultra real experience that is yet to come. As I stated in my Gold Mary video, Hololive is a company that would embrace Ultra Reality more so for musical entertainment than gaming as not only would it help their VTubers, but it would also give the fans more immersive experiences. Regardless, Yagu is a wise man so he would most likely view it as an all-purpose tool rather than simply for his own agenda, which I highly appreciate. As for the 103rd YouTuber to get their own team, I was thinking it could be Choctopus, as I recently got a sealed Persona 5 Royal Steelbook, and I know Choctopus owns two of them. Because of this, I named his team the Steelbook Gang. Be sure to watch my older UR Smash Bros videos to get up to speed on what YouTubers have teams in UR so far. And there you go, that is why Excitebiker should join Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality! Smash Bros. Server. 
Let me know in the comments if there are any other characters you want me to make a video on as to why they should join Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros. server. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Look forward to more Ultra Reality Smash Bros. videos in the future. And as always, stay chill, everyone.